Good morning, y'all. Hopefully you saw my last vlog and I was successful in uploading it. I did want to give very good updates on my technology issues. We've got a laptop, baby. This thing is so cool. This is actually like my first like actual laptop. I always, people have always given me like, like old hand-me-down laptops. So this is like my first like real nice one so i am so excited and it has made editing so much easier i also got a new phone i'm just using this as like a camera i'm not really using it for any other purpose i wanted to eventually be my like actual phone but i still haven't figured out my icloud situation but progress has been made it is sunday we are getting ready to go on a little road trip because it's my dad's 70th birthday um so we're gonna go to my family house and celebrate his birthday so I'm just gonna take you guys along. I'm wearing this little dress. I think it's, <coughs> can't remember where it's from. One mirror to the other mirror. I got it from the thrift store. I think it's American Eagle from forever ago. Showed you guys on TikTok, Alex got a new truck for work. He got a 350 so he'd be able to like haul the big equipment and stuff. Um, it is growing on me, but the color is very bright. Um, it is a bright yellow truck. I will, uh, I will show you guys. I'm like. Hey, is there any Jack Daniels in there? No. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I've been on an eBay kick again. I love eBay. Honestly, a, a majority of my clothes either come from thrift stores or eBay. I did order quite a few things the other day, so I don't know which thing I ordered just came in. <gasps> Ooh, this is cute. <gasps> oh, cute! The brand is Aphorism Sleepwear. I don't know if you can see that. Cute! I just thought it would be like a really cute little dress. I think it is vintage, I'm not sure, but I got some PR from the brand Winky Lux. I have never used them before, so this will be a new experience. Cute! Hey, Nicholson! Oh my gosh, oh, wait, that's so pretty. It's a cream blush, but it's like a little rose. Oh my gosh. I love these. These are so pretty. This has cats on it. That's what we like. Um, little cat pimple patches. Okay, cute. <gasps> no, they actually are cats. <laughs> the pimple patches are cats. Do you see that? That's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna try one of the lip balms on. This is so pretty. I just don't know how I'm gonna ever use it because it's like so beautiful. I don't wanna mess it up. This is flower balm or glimmer balm. We're, we're those two flowers. <gasps> it looks like a, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I dropped the camera. Okay, this is a little flower bomb. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> Wait, it has a little flower in it. That's crazy. Okay, well, I've never tried something like this before. I shouldn't have done this flannel. I like the flannel. I think that's cute. We just went to public lands to get my dad a little birthday present, but Alex is doing a little outfit change. Alex changed into his new vest. Woo! Hey, does it, does it look good zipped up? It looks good. <laughs> Y'all gonna have matching. Carhartt fit. We're gonna have matching He's even vests. Got the car. Hey, it's good. <laughs> and then I grew up. I have been wondering, can you guys tell the difference yet on Freya and Fawn? So this is Fawn. She's got kind of like, has more of like a circular face and she has like a little bit bigger cheeks. Yeah, right Fawn? And then Freya kind of has like a longer face and her mouth is kind of always open. And she looks like a little bit derpy. <laughs> yes. 
but that's how you can tell them apart. Good morning, you guys. I am devouring this cup of coffee. That's good. We got home not super late last night from my parents' house. We went to my hometown for my dad's birthday, his 70th birthday. Not fun fact, my hometown is on fire right now. Well, the Blue Ridge Mountains is, but it's in my hometown. Uh, so the air quality there is not good at all. But despite that, his birthday was still cute. And I also did get to post my YouTube video that I was working on. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> it's so crazy because the last time I tried to upload a YouTube video with Alex's old computer, it took three days. And this time, it literally took two seconds to upload. I was confused when I was like, did it up? How did it just upload? How did I upload? Like, it's crazy what new technology can do, you know? This week's gonna be pretty busy for me, especially today and tomorrow. I have a few brand deals I have to do. Since it is the holidays, a lot of the brands and like marketing teams are like really trying to kind of like get you to make your videos really, really quickly. So oh, a little bit of pressure, but I gotta do all that today and tomorrow. What are you guys doing? <laughs> so I need to wash all the bedding but how am i supposed to do that when they are looking so cute on the bed how am i supposed to tear them away from this you're kidding <laughs> slippers on cute let me go change those actually while I am putting on actual shoes and <laughs> taking off my slippers uh, I'll tell you I'm going into town hate to hate to hear it hate to hear it I'm going into town um hate leaving my house not to toot my own horn but I have been very productive today I need to go to the grocery store. I really want to make soup for dinner tonight. I don't know what time Alex is supposed to come home. I didn't ask any questions about like the hunting thing. Cause like I, I just thought they, I thought they went in the morning and I thought that was it. I don't know. I know nothing about hunting. I guess it's like an all day activity. I guess, I don't know. But they're in a tree together just kissing. <laughs> oh, love to see it. Um, okay, well, let's go now that we have actual shoes on. <laughs> oh. Oh. I got two packages. I'm gonna open them really quickly. Hope no one comes down the driveway. I think these are also. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is from eBay. The woman who runs this shop actually, I bought the piece. And then she was like, sent me a message and was like, hey, like I didn't realize there was a stain on it. So I'm just gonna give it to you for free and you can have like the shipping. Oh, I broke it now. And you, you could just like pay for shipping. So she, I got this for five bucks. What a sweet lady. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I'll show you at home, but it's a, a vintage Victoria's Secret. Little slip dress. It's white and has like little flowers on it. And then another one. Is this mine? Oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> this is my brand deal. Oh my gosh. Silk pillowcases. Oh, oh my gosh, so exciting. Wow, uh, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I'm gonna wait and open this when I get home. Now that I made an absolute mess. That's so cool, they like came in these little bags. Okay, 
let's go to the store and then we'll revisit all of this in a bit. Okay? We made it to the motherland. They got little Christmas trees over there. I can't wait until we decorate for Christmas. Maybe we will right after Thanksgiving. Uh, I just have to take some medicine. I'm gonna go in here and get a bunch of stuff to make some soup. I'm in the mood to make some veggie soup. I saw one of the comments on my videos, my last video asked about like how I make tofu and this is a place where I get my tofu usually. Although I did get a big box of tofu at uh, Costco the other day for the first time and that was cool. But here they have like already fried tofu which I think is cool. Cause then you can just kind of throw it in stuff and it's like ready. I forgot that all the grocery stores I forgot that all the grocery stores are going to be so much busier this week because of Thanksgiving and it was very scary. Like this parking lot is usually dead but um, there's a lot of people in here. But there also is like a Christmas tree thing so that's probably it too. finished filming for my brand deal I had. I had a brand deal with avocado bedding. It's these pillows right here. They are so nice. I'm really obsessed with these. They sent two of these pillows and then two silk pillowcases, which I'm very excited about because I've always wanted silk pillowcases and I bought the like satin dupe ones off Amazon a while ago and they were not very good and not good quality. So now I'm pretty excited that I have like legit silk pillowcases and they also give you like the silk laundry bag things so you can like put them in the laundry because you have to do the silk pillowcases like kind of different than other stuff so now I have the like little laundry bags which will come in handy because obviously I have so many silk and satin night slips that I don't usually put in laundry bags but I should starting now that I have them because uh, it takes a lot better care of them so yeah I just finished filming that um, I filmed it all on my new phone I still have, I don't think, I told you guys I got a new phone, but I didn't tell you, I still have my old one. And I say old one, I literally got this phone back in May, and it has caused me nothing but trouble. So I kind of just film everything on here, and they're not really, like, connected, like, my background is still, like, the basic, whatever, like, generic one it comes with. And then on this one it has, like, all my actual, like, personal stuff. So, one day I would kind of just like to have this one but I will have to still talk to Apple and get that all figured out. Right when I started filming the video, Fawn got scared and like ran off, but you know who stayed? My little Freya stayed. Thank you so much for staying. She just adds to the vibe, you know? I have all this cute food. This is actually my great grandma's teacup. She had a glass eye and good teacups. 
remember once going through her drawers, as you do as a little kid, I'm like, I'm just gonna go through her drawers. <laughs> and there are a bunch of glass eyes rolling around. And also the like glass eye she picked out was like pink. So uh, obviously she liked pink. So yeah, it's pretty weird. It's actually like pouring rain today and I was really worried because I was like, oh gosh, like I'm doing this brand video and of course it's like raining and the lighting is terrible. But sometimes as a creator, you have to pivot and you know, sometimes I'll like have an idea of like what a video will look like in my head and then if like something like the weather like messes it up or like changes the idea in my head. I used to be really rigid in my thinking like, oh my gosh, it's like all ruined, like blah blah blah. But pivoting in your creative process it really does like I don't know I think the video I made today was really like cute and cozy and I think that the rain added a really nice element to it maybe it wasn't like exactly what I had pictured in my mind but I think that it created something different than what I usually would do so I don't know I just think sometimes that's good the management company that I'm working with for this video wants the draft like as soon as possible just because uh, Black Friday is on this Friday, like a couple days away. So I don't know if they want me to post it before then, but I think they just want the draft before the holidays. So I literally got these pillowcases in last night and I already did a video today, which I don't usually like to do it that quickly, but it kind of worked out that way. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna edit the video, send it over to them, and then I think me and Alex are gonna go shopping today. I think we're gonna go to Richmond or maybe somewhere outside of Richmond. I got two of the brand deal things I needed to do yesterday and today, and then I, I got a ton done yesterday, so I feel very productive, so I feel like it would be okay to like go out and have fun for the rest of my day, you know? I don't know why I'm justifying it. Now I'm going to actually eat this food over here. I proofed one of those like Trader Joe croissants last night, and I always forget to do that, but last night I remembered because I was like, I wanted to be in the video, it's like really cute, so... They are so good, if you remember to set them out at night. That's the only thing. I'm also wearing for the video that slip dress I got in the mail last night too. Thank you eBay lady. You helped out with the vibes on this video. Hello. Lord, look at her. Lord, look at her. <laughs> Make sure your cup is off in the front because the rain will get in it. Okay. Matching cups. <laughs> put those on your fit. Put, put these on your hands. Okay. Oh, new gloves. Is that your way of trying to tell me you got new gloves? They look good. My um, cup tastes like soap a little bit because I didn't wash off the soap. And that's why I don't wash them. Ew, Alex. <laughs> It would taste really bad like soap though. Ooh, that means you dump it out so it doesn't get all over the truck. Yay! No, I'm just gonna keep drinking it. We're going shopping. Alex loves shopping. He's so excited. <laughs>
today is Thanksgiving. We are going back to my parents' house twice. We're supposed to be together for our living and breathing days. We're going to be together for the rest of our living and breathing days. We're going back to my gra grandparents' house. We're going back to my parents' house for the second time this week. That's not normal. I thrifted this little dress and it reminds me of Twiggy. I like it a lot better when I don't have to wear something underneath it, but it is cold. It's got this little like circle pocket. few days since Thanksgiving. I just didn't really feel like filming all that much, um, but we're back. I And we're back in my art studio, which is kind of weird feeling because the, the mental door to this studio has been closed for quite a while. I used to do Etsy full time and I used to sell like bigger piece things so I'd have like collection drops and stuff like that. Um, but now I sell like lower priced items and I still do create for Etsy but it's been on the back burner for quite a while probably a year or two although I do like creating art through films and videos and stuff I do really miss creating physical products or like physical things um, that's something that I've just been feeling really called back to recently so here I am I'm gonna just see you know, it also is the holiday season, so I do want to get some stuff back on my Etsy shop. Because to be honest, I do make pretty cute gifts, and I do gift wrap everything, so it's kind of like all settled. I don't know, so I want to get some stuff on my Etsy shop if people do want to like buy stuff for other people. Uh, I want that to kind of be an option. But yeah, also I just miss creating physical objects. I miss that kind of like art. and and. I want to bring it back into my life. Two of the main reasons why Etsy's kind of been on the back burner for a while is one, because I have RA and like my hands and it hurts so bad to create things, but I love it at the same time. So, <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I've been having really bad pain days the past few days so I really don't know how much I'm gonna get done today but I'm gonna try my best but also with having RA I also have a shoulder injury so it makes like leaning over and creating like really really painful <laughs> so that sucks my body is failing me at the ripe age of 26 I also think that the biggest kind of nail in the coffin for me in terms of being in the studio this year was Puka passing away because Puka had her little cat tree in here and we used to hang out in here all the time. So I would like create art and she'd sleep on her little tree and we'd like hang out all the time. So then when she passed away I just like hated being in here. I had to get rid of the cat tree. I couldn't even look at that thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been back in the studio since. I mean I have like a little little bit or like if I get orders I'll like come in here and like make this stuff up but I haven't really been consistently back um, 
so yeah and I also am really just interested in in learning new things I really want to start learning new ways of creating things I have a sewing machine and I haven't touched it I learned how to sew forever ago but I feel like it's it's been so long that I'll have to relearn again so that's annoying but I I want to I want to sew and I want to like make things and I want to learn I want to learn how to do a bunch of new skills so this is me starting back I guess I just I'm just feeling called to it you know I made some tea. That's good. That's good stuff. I actually don't know what this tea is because I didn't label it, so. I think I'm gonna create the rest of the day. And then I'll probably edit this video. Because I think we're done here. We're done here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, for being here, for being nice, for being cute, for being the coolest chickens in the chicken coop. Bye bye now. Actually, I'm back because I was looking at the video and I had Bear Mace in the background the whole time. Sponsored by Bear Mace. Woo! It's actually expired. This ain't gonna do shit. Anyways, I'm leaving for real this time. Bye.